everybody. I'm holding this telephone pole up. They said they'll be here in a little bit, but I've been waiting for a couple days. It keeps kind of heavy. Good thing I ate my spinach. I got a good video here for you. So check out this video of problems at railroad crossings. We've got railroad crossings malfunctioning and people driving around crossings. So watch the video. Okay, in this first scene, you're going to see a car going around the crossing gates. They're flagging the crossing because the gates aren't working. And what's the car do? The car ignores the conductor and goes around anyway. So watch the live action. Okay, in this clip, the bus driver gets a little bit confused and winds up stopping right in front of the tracks and the crossing gate lands on top of the bus and she doesn't know what to do. So watch this one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people do that. Huh? I don't know how they do that. <laughs> God. What, they got a whole nother train coming through? No, they just mess up because there's not that many through here. Okay, it's interesting. William Forrest and I were in uh, Georgia. We we're filming trains in Georgia, and the crossing gates were shaking like it's having a seizure. There's no train around anywhere, and the gates were just shaking and shaking until a train came, of course. Watch this. There's something coming, but it's vibrating. Check this out. Hey, folks, this crossing gate is really messing up, and nobody's even by it. And look at it. Why is it doing that? Here, listen to it. It's been doing this for a long time now, just going back and forth.
Here's a brand new crossing gate at Brooks Mallot Road near Mount Orb. And it was malfunctioning right off the bat. Just freshly installed, first time, well one of the first times to be used. Brooks Mallot Road. Okay, in this clip, you're going to see a fire truck that had to wait for a long train to get to the other side where there was a girl having an overdose. And then they put Narcan in her nose. Police say it took three doses. Hold on, don't worry. She lived. Three doses of Narcan, some CPR, and it brought her around. She wouldn't have made it if us rail fans hadn't have been there, though. Okay, next clip. Okay, now we're in Hamilton, Ohio. And this crossing, we've got a couple cars that just go right around the gates, and a CSX train is coming. There's another crossing in Ohio, and the cars just go right around the gates as the train approaches. Okay, this time I'm in Florida, and there's an Amtrak train going by. So the car pulls up way past the line. The back of their car is like even with the line or past the white line. So a train comes on the other track closer to the car and misses the car by about a foot. I didn't even know the second train was coming myself. So watch this interesting clip. Okay, here's another shot from Georgia. Everything's working fine except the flashing lights at the crossing keep going off. Watch the lights go off and then after a few seconds they come back on and they keep doing that off and on. Kind of interesting.
Okay, this clip here shows the first train through in about 11 months, almost 11 months, and nothing was working. The lights, gates, nothing. So watch when they had to flag this crossing. It's kind of cool too. Have you ever seen crossing gates and lights not working at night time? Check this clip out here. The lights, the gates, nothing was working. And this is at night. I mean, it's pitch black out. Check this out. Hey, here's a good one for Norfolk Southern lovers. Train's coming up to the crossing and the gates go up. Check this out. They had to stop the train. Okay, here's another Norfolk Southern train he had to stop because the lights didn't come on. The flashers did not activate, so the train pulls up to the crossing and they wait a few seconds, and then when the lights start flashing, then the train proceeds to the crossing. Hey, even when it's snowing out, sometimes the flashers don't work. Check it out.
Hey, I've never seen flashers like this. Check them out. They're vertical. And of course, they didn't work for this train. This is pretty cool. Okay, in this clip we see a street running train that went into emergency and they're right in the middle of the road, right in the middle of a busy intersection. Check this out. Well, there you have it folks thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and please make sure you subscribe also give it a thumbs up so i can get better video placement jaw tooth out